The promise of a fun day at Concord Water Park rapidly turned into a nightmare for the seniors of Napa High School. Water slides are a popular way to cool off and have fun during the hot summer months. But for one family, a day at the water park turned into a nightmare. In 1997, a tragic accident on this water slide claimed the life of a young girl named Quimbe Gilani. Join us as we uncover the shocking details of this devastating event and investigate the aftermath that shook the water park industry to its core. As the sun began to set on the sweltering summer day of June 2nd of 1997, a group of Napa High School seniors was winding up a fun-filled day at Concord Water Park. They had been having fun with the water rides, waves in the wave pool, and the lazy river yet as they prepared to depart a handful of the seniors had an idea they intended to continue on a school custom known as clogging which had been going on for years this ritual entailed numerous people obstructing the bansai pipeline water slide at the same time producing a pileup before plummeting into the waters below together that was a high risk unlawful and dangerous operation Yet, for these high school graduates, it was a chance to have one final hooray before returning to school. They were enthusiastic about the thought of jamming the Bansai Pipeline water slide as they approached it. They had heard how much fun it was and how it had become a rite of passage for Napa high school seniors. They had no idea that their decision would result in a predicament that would affect their lives together. The tradition of clogging students at napa high school had been clogging for a long time and it was a well-known tradition it was a way to celebrate the end of the school year and the start of summer vacation the goal of clogging was to stop the water slide with a bunch of people at once causing a pileup so that everyone went down at the same time it was risky and against the law and it could cause serious injuries but for these high school seniors, it was a way to have fun and show school spirit before leaving the park. The stories of past clogging attempts had become legendary and the seniors were determined to keep the tradition going. But they had no idea that the last time that they would have tried clogging would be that year. The risky activity would lead to a serious accident which would end the tradition for good. The decision to clog. As a group of Napa High School seniors made their way to the Bansai Pipeline water slide, you could feel how excited they were. They were determined to keep up the clogging tradition and leave their mark on Napa High School's history. This group of seniors had spent the whole day at the water park and were looking for one last thrill before they had to leave. They thought that clogging was a great way to end a fun day. As soon as they got to the top of the water slide, they jumped into place. They knew that having enough people to make a pileup was a key to being able to block traffic. Before they went all down the slide, they waited until there were enough people behind them. As they went down, they quickly realized that clogging this year would be different from past years. Chaos broke out quickly, and before they knew it, they were all going down the slide on top of each other. The seniors of Napa High School would live to regret their decision to block the water slide. The pileup as soon as a group of seniors from Napa High School went down the Bansai Pipeline water slide, they knew something was wrong. People were running into each other at high speeds and the pileup was bigger than they had thought. As the pileup got bigger and more people went down the slide and crashed into each other, chaos broke out. This pileup had a huge effect and several of the seniors were hurt very badly. As people tried to get free from the tangled mess of limbs and bodies, they screamed and cried out in pain. The workers at the water slide knew right away that something was wrong and turned off the ride. They ran to the scene of the accident to figure out what happened and help the people who were hurt. Several of the seniors were hurt very badly in the crash, with broken bones, cuts, and bruises. Some of them were out cold, and others were wailing in pain. People were trying to help each other and get themselves to safety, which made the situation very chaotic. It became clear very quickly that blocking the water slide was a terrible idea. The Aftermath Everyone was very saddened by what happened after the clogging at Concord Water Park. After the accident, the seniors at Napa High School were shocked when they realized how bad what they had done was. Several of the students who were hurt in the crash were taken to the hospital right away. 
broken bones, concussions, and more serious injuries that needed surgery were among the injuries. This was a wake-up call about the dangers of being careless, and it was clear that the clogging tradition had gone too far. Emergency services hurried to the site, and rescue personnel took the injured to the hospitals, many of them being concussed, having fractured bones, and bleeding profusely. However, only one of the 33 who fell died. Queen Bigotti, 18, was the last to fall. Unfortunately, as she landed, she slammed her head against the concrete and died on the way to the hospital. Quimby was described as a sweet and nice young lady to whom you would see counsel. Parents of the teenagers, including Quimby's, filed a wrongful death suit against the park, claiming that the site was too weak and park security was insufficient to prevent the disaster. They also accused Napa High School authorities of failing to intervene after allegedly overhearing the children discussing what they were going to do, despite the fact that investigators found no fault and the park maintained its innocence. Concord Park paid around $4 million to the impacted families, with $1.7 million going to Quimby's family. The dangerous activity was made illegal at the Concord Water Park, and schools in the Napa Valley Unified High School District were told not to do it. The accident showed how dangerous being careless can be, and it was clear that the clogging tradition had run its course. Lessons learned The accident at the Concord Water Park had a big effect on the people at Napa High School, and it was a strong reminder of how important safety and responsibility are. There were a lot of lessons to be learned from the accident, and they would change how the school thought about safety and responsibility in the future. The seniors at Napa High School chose to act recklessly, and they had to pay a high price for that choice. The event was a strong reminder that each person is responsible for their safety and the safety of those around them. In the years that followed, people at Napa High School would still be thinking about what they had learned from the clogging. But the lessons learned would be a powerful reminder of how important safety and responsibility are, and they would help to make sure that something like this would never happen again. As we wrap our investigation into the Concord Water Park clogging incident, it is vital to remember that safety and accountability are always paramount, especially while we're having fun. We hope that this story has acted as a warning, reminding us of the repercussions of reckless behavior and the need of making sound decisions. Please talk about the significance of safety with your friends and family and urge them to make wise decisions when they are having fun. If you notice someone acting recklessly, don't be hesitant to speak up and interfere. Remember that we are all responsible for keeping ourselves and others around us safe. Allow this tragedy to serve as a reminder that we can all make a difference by emphasizing safety and accountability and ensuring that those around us do the same. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more such content. And don't forget to stay safe in your next adventure.